Hello, my name is Taylor Erfling. I'm a four semester nursing student at Lincoln University. Today is September 12th and it is 10.15 in the morning. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to perform tracheostomy care and suctioning for a patient. Um, so I have introduced myself to the patient. I have verified his identity with two identifiers. Um, I have assessed his respiratory status and his pulse and his oxygenation. I currently have him hyperoxygenating before the procedure so that his oxygen saturation does not drop too low. Um, I have also established a form of communication with the patient, John. He will raise his thumb if he is in any distress. So before we begin, I'm going to provide patient privacy. I'm going to perform hand hygiene and then I'm going to open my suction catheter kit. Okay. There's that. And then I have a set of sterile gloves I'm going to be using here. So we're gonna pull these out. I have also explained to John his, the need for getting suctioned and performing trach care just to help improve his oxygenation and his respiratory status. my sterile gloves on. I am going to set this out. This box is going to have um, some normal saline in it. I will have an assistant put that in for me since I am already sterile. And I'm going to get our suction tubing out. Thank you. So for our suction tubing, I'm going to wrap it in my dominant hand. I'm going to move this a little closer. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm going to break sterility and attach the suction here. All right. Now I'm going to test the suctioning here. Suction should be between 80 and 120 millimeters of mercury. All right. This is lubricated and it is also working. Okay, I'm going to remove patient's oxygen and I'm going to insert the suction catheter. going to use intermittent suctioning and uh, kind of twirl the tubing around to make sure I get all areas of the lump of the trachea. There we go. And then I'm going to do one more time. I'm watching John's hand to make sure he's not indicating that he's in any distress to me. He is not currently. I'm going to instruct him to cough to try and get up any additional secretions that may be stuck there. Okay. All right. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and remove this and discard it. And then I'm going to remove his dressing because we are going to be changing that as well and discard that. Now I'm going to remove my gloves, uh, perform hand hygiene, uh, discard my trash so that I have a larger area to work with here. All right, so after hand hygiene, I'm going to put on some clean gloves. going to put that oxygen back on while I get my um, sterile area set up again just to make sure he's 
maintaining his oxygenation. Alright, open my trach kit and I'm going to use this right here to extend my sterile field. some another set of sterile gloves I'll need to put on so I'm gonna take these off perform hand hygiene once more and then don these sterile gloves we go. I'll try and make sure not to uh, touch that area while I was putting my gloves on to ensure sterility. I'm going to set up my trade kit. I'm going to use normal saline solution, pour it in one of these um, containers, and then in the other container I'm going to pour half normal saline and half hydrogen peroxide making sure that I have everything that I need in my kit, which I do. Then I'm going to um, have an assistant remove the oxygen so that I can then take out the inner cannula. Right. Thank you for that. All right, I'm going to pinch in right there just pull out. I'm keeping my dominant hand sterile so that I can use it for cleaning. All right. I am submerging the inner cannula in the hydrogen peroxide normal saline solution. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to clean the inside as such. All right. I'm going to discard this because it is now dirty and I'm going to rinse it in the normal saline solution and I'm going to use a pipe cleaner also found in the kit and I'm going to dry it. Discard that and I'm going to use my dominant hand to reinsert the cannula. sterility as possible. All right, you push that in until you hear a click. Now that is done. And then we also have um, a dressing change that we need to do. So here's a drain sponge. I'm going to um, place underneath the trach after I swab around him just a little bit. So I'm going to dip one of the cotton tips in normal saline or sterile saline and I'm going to clean around the edges here underneath um, removing any crusty areas or anything like that, um, anything that will irritate the skin. I'm going to discard and then use a dry one to dry the area Okay, and discard. Then, with that drain sponge, I'm going to try and stay as sterile as possible, just making sure that everything is good and clean. That is done. I'm going to remove my sterile gloves, perform hand hygiene, and now it is time to change the trait color as well. You don't have to do this every time, but um, 
anytime that you notice any kind of, you know, debris or sputum on it or um, whatever your hospital policy is for how often you need to be changing it, just make sure that you're following that. So, made sure this is the right one. I am going to put on some clean gloves because I do need to hold his trach in place as I change the trach ties. Here we go. All right, John, I'm gonna change your ties here real quick. All right, holding the trach in place. Note that I'm only moving, removing one tie at a time. Because we do not need John here to start coughing and for it to fly out across the room. That would not be good. All right, pull this one out from the other side and tuck this one back behind the neck may have him uh, lean forward if he can to assist with that. Okay. There we go. Let me undo this one. Discard that. with the trach ties, you want to make sure they are snug, but that you can still fit about two finger widths in there. So that is good. I'm going to go ahead and replace the oxygen as ordered. I'm going to take off my gloves, discard my supplies, perform hand hygiene, and I'm going to document all relevant data.